Good morning, friends. My name is Jason Sisk Provencio, and I'm the pastor at the United Church of Christ Congregational of San Luis Obispo on Los Osos Valley Road. And I'm here on this dreary Thursday morning with a peace nugget. This morning I'm going to uh, share from the UCC Daily Devotional. Uh, this is from Vince Amlin, who's a UCC pastor in Chicago. And he's calling this In Hindsight. And this is a reflection on Isaiah 51, 1 through 2, which says, Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the quarry from which you were dug. I see a good morning from Philip. Good morning, Philip. Welcome. It's good to see you. Uh, Vince Amlin shares this reflection. He writes, uh, When I need to get a piece of writing perfect, I take the advice of a middle school English teacher who taught me to read backwards. Can I get a shout out to all of the educators out there and to all of the parents who are now having to um, assume the role? Uh, he says, I start by reading the sentences last to first. If I'm feeling picky, I go even further, reading each word in reverse order to catch any typos. Oh, good morning, Don. Uh, you and Sue are watching. Welcome. It's really good to hear from you, too. Uh, this old trick is based on the idea that there are things we see only when looking backward. Reading from beginning to end, the familiar story can blind us to hidden mistakes. But when we look backward, we may notice something that we've missed. The same is true, he writes, of our spiritual journeys. Isaiah urges his audience to look to the rock from which, from which you were hewn. It is there he believes that they will find the hand of God helping to carve out their stories, the hand they may have missed in the forward movement of their lives. God is chiseling away at me too, mostly in ways I don't recognize at the moment. But when I stop to look back, I see the chips of stone that have accumulated around me. I measure the distance I have come uh, from that I have come from from the unformed block I once was. Patterns of grace and challenge emerge, and I recognize with relief the mark of God's handiwork, a mark I could only see in hindsight. And he offers this prayer, chiseling God, grant me the space and the wisdom to measure the difference you have made in my life. Show me my story as you read it. One of my favorite quotes from Kierkegaard is that life must be lived forward and understood backward. We uh, are journeying through this adventure called life, and sometimes we don't know what we're doing, what's going on, what God is up to, what's happening, and yet one day we can look back and, and, and see uh, a pattern, see how we navigated a challenging time, see how God was leading us. We never um, have that perspective as things are happening, only when we look back. God's beloved, I hope and pray that someday we will be able to look back on 2020 and make some sense of this. This is a challenging time, and yet... Um, we will continue to live forward. I wish everyone uh, grace and peace today. I miss you. I love you. Hope that you're staying safe, uh, staying indoors as much as possible right now. I will see you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock for another Peace Nugget. I have one more good morning from Richard. Good morning, beloved Richard. All right, friends. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.